All right, I think you can see me. I think you can hear me. I think. I think. Uh, let's see. I need to. I need to be able to get the broadcast on. All right, I see the broadcast. Uh, oh, see. all right, you can hear me. Good. Good Hi. so far. Lovely. Lovely. How are we doing? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I have my iPad on because that's. <laughs> I'm not at my computer now, so. Uh, we are uh, we're live, but to, for be able to, for me to be able to see what you're saying to me, I need to look at my iPad. So you will see me looking down. Hello, everyone. Uh, let's see who we got. We got um, we got uh, we got some mods. Michael B and Linda Belk and Idaho Star and Garth Russell and Bridget. And uh, hello everyone. We got like Julie Graves and Nicholas Shells Bell, CJ, Sig W. Who's awake at this hour? Misha is there. Marge is there. Carol H B is there. Moon Moonshine Fuel, Sim Dad, Daniel, J Marie. Ah, look at uh, look at everybody who's gonna cook with me. All these people are gonna cook with me. We're gonna test out the walk. I'm so excited. Oh, Quentin Perry wants someone to do donate an X-Acto knife. Yeah, that might help out the channel because I refuse to get an X-Acto knife. I still open the boxes with the scissors. Simpler. Maybe one day. Uh, anyways, hey guys, thanks for, thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining. Um, so look, uh, we're here. It's very special. Uh, we're here because I got my walk. I got my walk. Uh, I'm so excited because if you've been following the Lickner channel, you know about two weeks ago, thanks to your help, thanks to your help, about two weeks ago, uh, I learned how to stir fry and I've been doing it so much. Uh, it's weird. It's like become a very, I, I never cooked for myself. Like I could cook little things, but I never really like cooked like full meals for myself. And I just, if, if you want to know, what that's all about. There's a whole stream about called like, there's a whole stream, you can see it right here if you're watching in the archives or, or here, wherever it is. Um, there's a whole stream called, uh, oh, oh, now I gotta write that down. Oh no, why did I do that? It's so dumb. Uh, okay, <laughs> two minutes. Sorry, uh, I'll put it in after. There's a whole stream where I explain, uh, should I cook for myself? There's a, there's, a, there's a stream should I learn to cook for myself, and then there's a stream where I first cook stir fry live for the first time ever, um, and uh, and uh, but I, I, I've it's it worked and it tasted fine and I haven't gotten ill from it, so I've been doing it a bunch and it's kind of weird like it's just become like a very normal part of my life like it's very strange there was no point where I was like, oh my gosh this is going so well I'm gonna start doing it more I just started doing it and it it very quickly. For something that, if you remember when I first did the stream, like, should I do this? Like, it was going to be such a big life change. Uh, and just almost immediately, it just became normal for me to cook that way. Like, that's a, like I think I've probably eaten, like, five of my last six meals with stir fry. So it's amazing. It's, it's, it's so convenient, too. Because, like, like um, the last couple nights... It's or days. My schedule's so off. That's why we're doing this at what time is it? Ten thirty. Um, uh, the last um, the last couple of days, it's been so busy with news. We'll see if we get through this live stream without a big news story. But the last few days, it's been so busy with news. My schedule has been it's awful. I'm going to bed at like ten a.m. and I'm waking up at like 5 p.m. And I, 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 this is not how I want to live my life, but it's just there's been so much going on between the Australia fires and the um, Kenya attack. So everything's been going on late at night. So, but the great thing is, it's like if I need to eat at like four in the morning, I probably ate dinner at four or five in the morning the last couple of nights or lunch, my big meal. Um, it's like normally like, where would I go? I'd have to eat something terrible. But here, when I just have all this stuff, I just cook it myself and I eat a perfectly delightful, healthy meal uh, at whatever time. So it, it's just, it's so convenient um, just to have, not just like having the food here, but like having like being able to get, get a good meal at a weird hour. So, 
So that's been great. It's, but again, it's, it's very strange because it's not like I was like, yes, this is working awesome. There was no moment like that. I just started doing it. And then like, like after like a couple of weeks, I was like, wait, like that's all like I, that's pretty much how I get my food now. Uh, so it kind of, uh, it kind of became normal very fast. Uh, so, um, so let's see here. Uh, I'm just looking at the chat here. Let me look at some chat messages. So that's, that's. Uh, I'm very excited about this. Uh, oh, Katie girl, Katie girl, I won't get into this now. The um, the screen name that you were offended by was a screen name somebody had watching the channel that I genuinely think they did not mean it to be offensive, but. I, we actually told them, the mods told them like they needed, I talked to the mods and the mods told them, I, I believe the mods told them they needed to change the screen name. So you should not see that person with that screen name again, unless they, I'm happy to have them in the chat room, they need to change your screen name. Uh, let's see here. Um, yes, we are cooking tonight. We are cooking tonight. All right. Okay. Oh, hey, uh, uh, let's see who we got. We have, do we have... I see RSBN moderator, and I don't know if that's Jude or not, or someone else. I don't know who is the who is the RSBN moderator. I hope it's not somebody impersonating RSBN moderator. I'd love to know who RSBN moderator is so I can say hi, but I'm not sure who that is. So I'll wait and see. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, first name and last name is cooking as well. Uh, Cheryl Sipson says, fabulous to be able to walk a meal up. I agree. What am I? What am I cooking? Oh, there's there's so much to talk about. Let me. Uh, I'll tell you in a second. Let's just see if I want to just see if uh, RSBN moderator identifies themselves. Uh, uh, Brian, we're we're figuring out the moderating situation a little more fully on this channel. So the mods are awesome, but we've we've been it's been we set this channel up so fast. So things are we'll have a procedure soon if people want to apply to be moderators. We will. Hey, thank you, Kenneth Colton. Thank you for the donation, Kenneth Colton. I appreciate it. Thank you, Kenneth. That's nice. Well, R maybe RSBN moderator left. <laughs> I said hi to RSBN moderator and I never... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's Jude. Jude, Jake and you are watching. Jake and I have been trying to connect on the phone for a year. I'm not kidding you. I literally just thought of that like yesterday because I saw... I think I saw Jake's post on Facebook. So, Jake, we need to talk on the phone. We've owed each other a phone call for a year. Uh, hey, Jude and Jake, good to see you. All right, so look. So anyways, so as I was saying, I learned how to cook a couple weeks ago for myself stir fry. Uh, and it's been great. Uh, I've, it's, it, it's, just, it's just become a part of my life. But it's been terrible in the sense of I've been using this. Uh, this is a small fry pan. Uh, and it's not made for this. Uh, I'm guessing I'm probably poisoning myself because you're not supposed to be using these non-stick pans to cook with high heat um, that are not made for it. Uh, and also, it makes a giant mess. Every time I cook stir fry, like it's so. First of all, it can't hold enough food, so this, the food is packed in there and it doesn't cook. It doesn't cook evenly at the end when I have all the food in there. Second of all, it's not that high, so the stuff splat and it's not that wide, so the stuff splatters all over the place. I get so much splatter, so I'm hoping the wok helps with the splatter because I've been getting too much splatter with this. Uh, if you were here, you could see some of the splatter. Although I've been, I clean up after I eat, but anyways. Ew, see there, see, I did not, I need to wipe this up right here. Last night when I cooked, so there was some splatter here and I didn't see it. And now it's grossing me out. So I need to just wipe that up. So it's like oil, it's like cooking oil. Cooking oil, okay, let me take this out of here. Move this away. This doesn't need to be here, right? I'll get that back later. All right. Anyways, oh, that's better. But it's like, it's been splattering so much and I can't fit enough food, so, oops. That's my phone So, um, so, uh, I ordered a wok and I got the Joyce Chen 14 inch lightweight cast iron wok. And the reason I got this wok, as I explained in a previous stream, I don't even know which one it was, but um, the reason I got this wok is that um, uh, I have a, in my apartment, it's a glass, flat glass top stove. 
And you can't, traditional woks were not, will not work well on a flat glass stove. Um, and so a wok site recommended the wok I got for electric glass flat stoves. Uh, so glass top stoves. So that's why I got that one. Uh, and also, like a lot of the a lot of the good walks, a lot of the recommended walks are carbon steel. But carbon steel supposedly doesn't work well with um, electric glass top stove. So the walk I got is specifically recommended by uh, by a specific walk site and uh, others for uh, for a uh, for a glass electric flat top stove. So that's why I got it. So hopefully it works. Oh, April says it's pre seasoned. Yeah, this one is pre seasoned, so I don't have to do we like I don't have to like cook with it and like get the oil off of it or something uh and uh let's see here it's a big box oh but here's this is the big mystery are you are you ready for the big for the big first cliffhanger for the night is this so when i go downstairs the box comes to my building and i go downstairs to pick up the box you know where the mail is and the handle is sticking out of here the handle sticking out Somehow, when UPS was shipping this, the handle burst through the like like it was like this much of the handle was sticking out. So I don't even know if the if if the handle's going to be damaged. Now I'm going to use it either way. So if the handle's damaged, I'll use it and then I'll send it back because I have it anyway. I got to open it up. But literally, this the handle was this far out. Now they're just not packing it correctly. They should put something in it to secure it. So it's really weird. It was sticking out to here. So uh, it did seem to be, somebody said check for integrity. It did seem to be in one piece, but we're going to use it. Uh, it's just, it, it, the first question is how much damage was there to the handle? <laughs> Pretty ridiculous though. Orphan Annie Oakley thinks that's from throwing it. Oh, I should photo the photo the box before I open it. Well, I don't even need to take a photo now because uh, because because I have it all on this video. I can, I can send Amazon a copy of this video. I should take a photo of the box. Hold on, let me take a photo of the box. Let me do that. It's a good idea. Uh, where's my phone? I'm phoneless. I don't know where my phone went. Here it is. Yeah, we'll take a photo of the box just to do it. But I mean, if it works, I'll keep it. Whatever. Because I'm going to use it. But we'll see. We'll see. But we, we've come this far. Uh, oh, JB says maybe a squirrel chewed, chewed a hole and is now resting inside the box. It's very possible. Hey, thanks to all of our moderators, by the way. We got Linda Belk, Idaho Star, Rubin. Uh Who else we got moderating there? Oh, uh, we got... All of them. Michael B. Moderating. Bridget. All right. We're all good. We're all good. And, oh, wait. Give me one second. Give me like three seconds. Hang on. Three seconds. Everything is good. Everything is good. Okay. So uh, I think, so what we're, what we're going to do is, oh, the stream's going to take so long. I got to keep it moving. I got to keep it moving because it'll, it'll take hours and hours and hours. Um, but, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to open the box. We're going to see how damaged the walk is because whoever stupidly packaged it or shipped it had the handle come out of the box. And then we're going to cook with it. We're going to do that. And we're going to cook with it. Uh, by the way, let me say something though. B before before um, we open the walk, I have a very exciting announcement for you. So, uh, when I earlier did my cooking stream, my first cooking stream, uh, I mentioned this uh, uh, cutting board, which I love, which is by Gorilla Grip. And I found this cutting board because the company that makes it makes like a rug pad and a shower mat that I like. 
So I was like, what else do they make? And they make they made a cutting board, but it's great. It's really big um, and it has these ridges in it, like where, the, where any kind of like liquid goes into. So I love this cutting board. But when I, when I, when I did the stream, the first cooking stream, uh, I looked this up, or I think this was the cleaning stream maybe, my house cleaning stream. I looked this up and it said unavailable. And I was like, oh, that's too bad. But so right before the stream, I, I figured, well, I'll put the link into this because I'll be talking about it in case people want to see it. And I'll say, unfortunately, it's not available. But when I looked it up at Amazon is what I realized is there's not only is it available, but there's a whole new link. So the old link that I used to buy it is a dead link at Amazon. But now they sell it both in by itself and with and with, in a set of three with three different sizes and so i've put the link in the amazon the amazon um in amazon i put the link in the video description uh it's the gorilla grip oversized cutting board but like i think it's like 12.99 and they have all these different colors now when i bought it like four or five years ago they had no colors there's like 20 colors um but uh but they also have a set of three of these so I i'm happy now because i know if i ever want to buy another one they're out there because uh, uh, this one's like four or five years old, but like I didn't even know. So I just found out like 15 minutes ago that they sell these on Amazon, but they also have a set of three where it's like this one and then two smaller sizes with it. Anyways, that's you can if you if you're interested, you can click on the link in the YouTube description. And the link to the walk is in the description as well. But it's uh, it's a great cutting board. Oh, Storm and Sue says, I bought the microfiber cloths. Amazing. Yeah, I don't give bad recommendations. I recommend stuff I use. Uh, let's see. Oh, Honey Badger says, I have an, that exact wok. It's very nice, but too big for you. No, 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 no. I want a big one. I want a big wok. Because I want, I sometimes cook extra food and I want the space. I like having the space in the wok to cook the food. So I, I like that it's big. I like that it's big. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that's right. You know, Rhonda says that color uh, cutting board goes with my kitchen. It does. It does. Okay. All right. Let's go. So I am going to now, yeah, I get a, I also need, I don't, ha, I don't have a, a chef's knife. I'm scared of chef's knives. I, I have a big knife, which I like. Uh, this is a serrated knife, which I use for cutting my pineapples. Uh, uh, but this isn't, this is really sharp, but it's not as sharp. And it's not as, as a threat, as much a threat, as much a threat to cut you as like a chef's knife this size. So I'm scared of having like a super sharp chef's knife. Knife. So I just cut with I just cut with a little like a sharp steak knife. That's what I used to cut. Because I'm scared of big knives. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, futures pass gets says get a 497 machete. Um, am I going to have to, t there we go. All right, hang on a second. Um, and uh, all right, so I, I mentioned that. So we talked about the wok. There's one other thing I thought I had to mention. Oh, we're going to, as I, as I said in the description, we're going to be cooking chicken and shrimp with veggies. Chicken and shrimp with veggies. So, well, I probably should open the wok, right? All right. So hopefully, hopefully this will be the last time I've ever, I ever used this frying pan to cook stir fry. All right. Well, I think we should open this, right? Time, time to open it. <laughs> time to open it. All right. So I'm going to open this up. And the first thing we're going to see is um, what kind of shape it's in after the, after the piece of it came through here. After the handle was sticking out here. All right, here we go, guys. Time to open it. All right. Now, uh, 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 if you don't like me opening up things with the scissors, then avert your gaze. Oh, by the way, if anyone... So, so uh, I, I, since I'm going to be cooking, I'm not going to be checking the internet. So if you do notice... Some like 
If Iran attacks the United States, feel free to let me know in the chat room. Uh, the rule is don't, don't post a news story in the chat room unless it's of such importance that I will feel compelled to immediately stop this stream and run into the studio and cover it on agenda-free TV. But if you do see anything of that level of importance, that would be awesome if you could post in the chat room. But anything less than that, anything less important than that, do not post it in the chat room. Oh, oh, uh, Luna Girl said, did I, did I defrost my shrimps? You know what? I was going to do that. Uh, it doesn't take that long with these shrimps, but I should do that first. That's a great idea. That's the thing I forgot to do. So, now, the way you're in theory just supposed to defrost the shrimps, hold on. Where is, where is my bag of shrimp? There we go. The way you're supposed to defrost these, it's kind of wasteful. They say, um, quick thawing, place frozen raw shrimp in a strainer, rinse with cold running water for six to eight minutes. They want you to rinse it for six to eight minutes. That's not how I've been doing it because I, I don't feel that's, I feel that's too wasteful. So what I've been doing, and I don't have a strainer yet. I still got to get a, a colander, uh, which I will at some point. Um, but what I do is I've been like rinsing it once and then I leave it just in some water. Uh, and then it, by the time I cook it, it's fine. Now, my cooking practices, I am sure, are not the ideal best practices. Uh, I'm sure my way of defrosting them uh, is not, if you worked at a, in a nice restaurant, you would not do it this way. And it probably tastes better another way. But these taste great to me the way I do it. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing it the way I do it. Uh, so, but this is the uh, whole catch from Whole Foods. These are the small shrimp. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bef before, wasteful of what? Wasteful of water. I'm supposed, to, I'm, supposed to have a, I'm supposed to run these in a strainer under water for six to eight minutes and have the water running? That seems excessive. Okay, so I'm going to take these. I have... I had half of them last night, and I'm going to have half of them tonight. I'm going to put these in my plastic bowl. These bowls are the best. I bought two of these. I bought two of these maybe 20 years ago. It was in a Rite Aid in Los Angeles, and I, I needed a bowl, and I went there. It was like a 24-hour Rite Aid, and they had these green salad bowls. If I could go back in my life, I would buy all of these they had in stock. They were like $2, but they're the perfect size. They're big and they have high sides, and I don't know where you can get them. There's no brand name on them, and I just got them at Rite Aid, and I use it for salads. I use it for my fruit. I use these for everything, uh, and they're not heavy, and they're easy to clean, and it's like, but I've never seen them anywhere, so they're great. My go-to bowl. All right, so we are going to put these in here. Fine. That. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse this off once with some water, pour the water out, and then I'll leave some. I'll leave them in water so they can defrost, which works fine for me. Anyone who's like a chef is probably holding their head in disgust right now about how I'm doing this, but it works for me. Baby steps. All right, so I'm gonna put the water in here. I will rinse this out. All right, now we'll put some more water in here. Fine. Good call. Whoever reminded me of that, good call. Now I'll leave these here, and then they'll be ready to go by the time we cook. All right, so now, now, guys, it's time to open up the wok and see... How much damage was done to the wok by the handle sticking out of that hole? Wow, this is huge. I mean, this is, this is something I could end up using every day. If it works, I could end up using this every day. Uh, let's see here. This is going to be big. All right, my trust, my trusty opener, my trusty mail opener. I really need to save this box because we don't know what the situation is going to be with the walk. Ooh. 
Ooh, all right. Now, they, they did put it in paper. They put it in paper. They just, whatever they did, they did not pack it in a way that the handle didn't pop out of the box. It is in one piece. It is in one piece. Oh, guys, look at this. It is in one piece. It does seem to be in one piece. Uh, I'm going to take the plastic off. It is in plastic. Look at this, guys. This is the lightweight cast iron wok 25-year warranty. Look at this. Traditional cast iron performance. Joyce Chen. Looks maybe legit. So it, the link to this is below. If, if you want to see the walk I'm trying out, the link is in the description. What do people say about it? All right, people are saying it's pretty nice. I think it costs like I think it costs like fifty bucks, like fifty or sixty bucks. I think it was fifty or sixty bucks, if I remember right. Uh, what do people say? Huh, Jessica says I want to walk. Sarah, we actually, we actually, you're not that late. We actually are, I got to the opening a little sooner than normal because there's so much to do with the cooking and everything. So again, this is the walk. Uh, I'm going to, I got to see what the instructions are. There's instructions on the back. Okay. Um, what do the instructions say? I don't have to season this. Uh, Pre-seasoned. So with some walks, you have to season them where you have to like, cook oil in them or whatever. You have to cook something in them to get the oil off, uh, but it's pre-seasoned. Uh, features, I'm going to read you some of this. Features all the virtues of a traditional cast iron wok, but is half the weight. Now, this is certainly, it's not light. Like, like this is much lighter than this. If you told me that this weighed like three times or four times this, I believe you. I mean, this does have heft to it. It's not light like this, but it's not crazily heavy. It's not crazily heavy. But like I can sit here all day with this up where I wouldn't want to sit here for hours holding this. It's definitely heavy, but it's not insanely heavy. Okay, and it says... Uh, it says, features all the virtues of a traditional cast iron cookware, but half the weight, even heat distribution, good temperature control, excellent heat retention. All right. Uh, the thin cast body is pre-seasoned at a very high temperature to create a permanent natural food grade finish to the interior. This interior contains no chemical additives and with minimal care will last indefinitely. Indefinitely is a long time. The exterior of the pan has a silicone coating that prevents rusting and makes cleanup easy. All right. Okay, use and care. This is important. Before I use it, I have to read the part that says use and care. Um, the pan interior was pre-seasoned at the factory with an all-natural seasoning. Before first use, oh, before first use, hand wash with warm soapy water, and after you dry it, Apply a very thin layer of vegetable oil to the interior of the pan. Okay, now I only have uh, peanut oil. Hopefully that's okay. So again, they want me to wash it with warm soapy water before first use, hand wash with warm soapy water, and after you dry it, apply, apply a very thin layer. Then, it's supposed to say thin and it says T-H-E-N, a very thin layer of vegetable oil to the interior of the pan. A well-seasoned pan gets better over time. It will develop a smooth black patina to the surface, which enhances the non-stick and easy clean features of your cast iron pan. Wash pan after each use. After cooking, allow the pan to cool before cleaning. Immersing a hot pan in water could cause it to crack. So don't immerse a hot pan in water. Okay. Clean with warm water and mild detergent. Never use harsh detergents. Sounds fine. Don't use abrasives or scouring pads, since they can remove the interior seasoning and damage the exterior finish. Fine. 
Occasionally re-season your pan by wiping the interior with a thin coat of vegetable oil. All right. So, it sounds pretty simple. It sounds pretty straightforward. I just need to wash it with so warm soapy water and put some oil in it. All right. So that's going to do what we do first. This is... I'm, I'm, well, first of all, I need to... First of all, I need to... Hold on. I need to get this box out of the way. This box needs to go somewhere. Not here. What do you think of the walk so far? Where, where did it go? Ooh, let me tell. Let me let me take the, uh, the 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 paper off. You know what's weird though? You know what's kind of weird? Hold on. It's a little weird. There's no instructions. The instructions are on this. So if I want to keep the instructions, I got to keep this. I guess I can take a photo of it. But it's like, hey, we're, let me read the instructions. <laughs> That's where they are. They're on the paper. I'm sure they're online somewhere. It just seems. I mean, look, there's, 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 I don't know. It just seems like, is it really saving paper to do it on this and not have a little piece of paper? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Nosy Rosie says it's actually not so large for a watch. Walk. What do you guys think of it? What do you guys think so far? Is this going to work? Kari says, I'm loving that walk. I just need to get, I may need to get one. It's nice. Well, Kari, hold on. Let me use it first. What if I use it? It's terrible. So wait till, I'm going to use it right now. But again, the link is down below in the description. Um, it says, before, it says, before you first use, hand wash with warm soapy water. That's what they say. Hand wash with warm soapy water. Great. Uh, Orphan Annie Oakley says, bigger is better. James says, perfect size for one person. The thing is, when I cook, when I cook my meals, I cook like three people's worth of food. I don't mind if I have extra. I cook a big meal. Uh, good handle layout. Oh, by the way, if you're interested in getting a walk, there's a really good video it's a good housekeeping video. Good house, no, not good housekeeping. It's not good. It's America's Test Kitchen. America's Test Kitchen did a video about comparing walks where they, they do a walk review video. And it's a really good video because they kind of, it's like a 10 minute video, but the person doing it, she goes over like the different kinds of walks and she talks about handles. And for example, she said, I like a wood handle because if it's a metal handle, she said, that can get really hot. And so she prefers the wood handle. Everything's sturdy. This is a, the, the piece of wood is a little bit loose, uh, not to a crazy degree uh, at all. But I don't know. That, I think that might just be the construction. Now, as I did mention, the, the handle was sticking out of the box when I got it. So if, I don't, if, if, I, if there's something wrong with it, I can always return it. The handle, it's weird. It's like the, the metal is not loose. This metal is firm. This is not shaking. The wood itself is a little loose. But I don't know, that might be just the way it's made. Or it might be, because I don't think, I, I think the wood, I don't know how the wood is attached on here. Anyways, so it's fine. I, I like it. I'll just, I'll see if it annoys me, I'll let you know. This, see, this wood right here is not w w loose, but it's connected a different way. But anyways, they, like, they, they talk about the different handles. And, and this also has a flat bottom. See how, see how the bottom is flat? A traditional wok has a rounded bottom. But I have a flat stove. So... Uh, I need as much sir, I need as much contact with the stove as possible. So that's why they recommend a flat bottom wok for a flat glass top stove. Uh, let's see. I think Sinister Stone says um, the hand the the wood being a little loose is normal. Oh. Oh, hold on. Uh, one of our viewers, Honey Badger, says you can tighten the handle by screwing the metal loop in. This loop here? I don't know. Oh, I think that might have worked. I don't know. So one of our viewers said you can, you can, you can, you can, you can turn this and it'll tighten the handle. 
No, it's still a little loose. That that's my one problem with this so far. It's not it's you really have to try to make it a little loose to get any movement here. Anyways. Uh, Nicholas thinks it's going to break. All right. So look, uh, let's, 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 let's get to it. We got it. We got to test this out because I'm getting hungry. If I, if I don't use it and cook, I can't eat. I got to eat something. I'm going to be eating on the air. Uh, all right. So here we go. Let's, the first thing I need to do is I need to uh, rinse with soap and with, with, with warm soapy water. So let's do that. Here we go. I, I hope it doesn't fall apart when I rinse it off. Ooh, okay. I'm being so delicate with it. Like with a normal pan, I'm not, but I'm like, it's my new wok. So I'm, I, I'm like putting it down all soft and everything. It's just like it's a cooking instrument. I'm going through this so much faster now that I cook for myself. I, I, I'm running out of this stuff. I got to go buy some more dishwashing detergent. All right, hold on. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just um, rinsing it. I'm rinsing the wok with warm, soapy water, like they told me. I'm almost done rinsing it off. I'm almost done. By the way, I'm, I'm having a problem with the shower. My shower is doing this thing where the hot water pressure is very low. There's hot water, but the pressure is low. So I've had two bad showers in a row because there's very little water coming out. The water is hot, so I hope that gets fixed soon. Not with the sink. The sink, the sink hot water is fine. It's my shower. All right, just about done here. Just about done rinsing it off. Okay. Rinse off the handle part. Okay. Good, good, good. All right, we're just about done rinsing it. <laughs> All done. It has been rinsed. It's been rinsed. Now I need to dry it. And then put some oil in it. A thin coat of oil in the interior. All right. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is this is a real revolution in my cooking life. Look at this. I mean, look. Look at the sides. Look at how look at how high the side is. Hopefully, this is less splattered. I mean, look at this is what I've been using. All right, now I'm gonna put some oil in. Time to put some oil in. All right, all right, all right. I did dry it before washing it. Now we have some peanut oil and I'm gonna put some, they said thin layer of oil, which I need to cook anyways. So I'm going to put some, some of my peanut. I'm running out of oil. I, I've been so busy, I haven't gotten to the supermarket in like a week and a half. Well, at least I've been run, I, I go and I run and pick up food, but I need to do a run where I pick up like this stuff. All right. 
Now it said, it said cover with a thin coat of oil. So I put some oil in this, and I'm actually just letting the oil move around the interior a bit uh, without it spilling out. The, see, the instructions said before you use it, cover with a, with a thin coat of oil. So I'm letting the oil cover it, but it's kind of hard because I'm trying not to have the oil spill out. <laughs> I might have to like use my finger to put some oil on the parts where I'm not reaching. I've almost reached all of it with oil. It's so different putting oil on this because when you put the oil in the non-stick frying pan, it just, it just, it doesn't stick to the frying pan. So it doesn't really, you know, it just all bunches up. Whereas this, this oil actually sticks to this, some of it. All right, I've almost covered the whole interior with oil. I'm using my finger to cover the rest of it with oil. As weird as this sounds, I'm probably breaking lots of cooking rules by using my finger in the oil, but what can I do? It's said to cover a thin coat of oil before you first use it. This is more like a video on how not to cook. Oh my, am I excited now? This is exciting. Wow. Guys, we got to walk with some oil in it. We're, 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 we're making progress. Right, let, me take, let me take some comments from you guys. I'm, I'm taking a one minute comment break so I can see what you're saying. Uh, let's see. High heat. Yes. Uh, See, I was using my frying pan for high heat, which which I'm not doing. So I can actually you put the I can actually put the heat on high to cook with this. I need to see. I can't remember like I've been using like almost the highest heat setting, like medium high. Uh, and I I, for, I haven't watched the walk videos in a while, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use like all the way high or almost all the way high. So I might for the moment not go all the way high with the heat, just because I don't really want to run and watch the videos right now. Oh, paper towel, somebody said, to oil the wok. Uh, well, it's done. I, I'm done oiling the wok. It's done. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, some people said you should have used a paper towel to spread it around. Ah, uh, it's, it's done. The, the, it's been covered. It's now been covered with oil. <laughs> but thank you for the suggestion. I missed your suggestion. Exactly. As the curious kitty says, he's not teaching, he's learning. <sighs> paper towel, people said. Ah, like 20 people said paper towel. Well, I missed it. Next time I know. Hmm. All right. Here we go. There you go. Then Orphan Annie Oakley says, never use a paper towel on a cast iron. You can argue with everybody else in the chat room, Orphan Annie Oakley. Okay, so now, now what we need to, we're almost there. Oh, so look, I have a question. So when I was using this thing, uh, you're not supposed to, oh, by the way, let me say this. I was, I was saying about this walk, it looks awesome. The handle is like, the wood is like a tad bit loose on the handle, but actually... Now that I look at this, this, this handle is more loose than that handle is. This is my pan, and I've never had a problem with it. But if I really try, I can, I can get a little looseness on the handle. So it's not, it's not, uh, it's not a big deal. But um, this, I would never want to heat it uh, until right before I started cooking, because I was told you're not really supposed to use these for high heat. So, but like now this, so I have a question for you. Now, now, that, I have, now that I have this wok here, I forgot to watch the wok cooking videos again before this video, so I'll have to go back. But I'm flying blind right now. Now that I have this wok with oil with, with oil in it, right, can I just turn the heat on? And I know I'm supposed to let this wok heat up before I cook with it, but like, should I just turn the heat on now while I'm cutting the chicken? Should I just turn it on now and let it heat up? 
Let's see what people say. Let's see what people say. Like, is anything bad? Like, will the oil start smoking or something? <laughs> all right, everybody's saying I should turn the I should turn the heat on. Okay, all right. Yes, turn the heat on. Uh, let it heat up. It's going to get super hot. Yeah, I'm going to turn the fan on. I'm going to turn the fan on. I'll wait until I have to, though. I think I'm going to turn it on to almost, almost highest heat. Almost high. Medium high. I'm going to go to medium high heat. All right. I am now turning this on medium high heat. Here we go. The heat is on medium high. Uh, I'm going to turn the fan on. I'm going to turn the fan on kind of low for now. I'll turn the fan on higher later. But even though the fan is on, uh, when I turn the fan higher, when I last did this, you could still hear me talking if I stood close to the microphone. So hopefully you can hear me. All right, I, I, I have it almost... I have it almost on the highest heat. I'm almost on the highest heat. <laughs> yes, uh, Zood Master says is the fire department on standby. Here we go, guys. All right, so what I need to do next is I'm going to cut the chicken up. I'm going to get the chicken out and, and cut it. And... Um, what I'm excited about, I figured out at Whole Foods, I was buying the two packs of chicken breasts. And it was kind of annoying because in the two pack, you use one of them and then you have this box and then you got to like wrap it up after uh, with like saran wrap. But then I realized they sell three packs. In the three packs, actually, the chicken costs less. It costs like 20% less if you buy a three pack. And they're individually packed. Which is great. So I just discovered this yesterday. I'm so excited. I bought a family pack. And I used one of these last night. And now I'm going to use another one today. My chicken breast. The value pack. You know what's going to happen? I don't need to cut the vegetables. The vegetables are all pre-packed. -pa pre um, you know what's going to happen is... And then it stays fresh. Like when I have the three individual ones in the family pack, I can open them right before I'm going to use them. Pan is burning. Uh, there's a little smoke coming out of the pan. All right, so question for you. All right, so there's a little, there's a little smoke coming out of the pan. Uh, should, I, sh should I worry about that or not? Oh, light. I want the light on. Where's the light? Oven. There we go. Yeah, let's see. Um, normal. K. Okay. Move it off the heat. No, it's not normal. Pan is okay. It's preheating. Turn off heat prep first. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait. All right. This got hot pretty fast. This got hot pretty fast. So right now what I'm going to do is I've turned off the heat for the moment. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until I cut the chicken up. And then I'll put it back on. Because I haven't done this before. The stove is not on fire. Every, everything is fine. There's a little oil on the stove, I think, from before. That's the problem. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, thank you, by the way. Somebody made a donation, and now I can't see it. Where did it go? Oh, thank you, Trey Shepard. Thank you so much, Trey Shepard, for the donation. That's very kind of you. I think Trey just feels sorry for me. Okay. All right. Let's, so so I, I turned the heat off. It, it Clearly, the heat works. Um, so now I'm going to take the chicken, and I'm going to chop the chicken up. So 
What you can do is you guys can talk amongst yourselves while I chop the chicken. Right. On my awesome cutting board, as I mentioned, Gorilla Grip Cutting Board, they actually are available again on Amazon, and I put the link below, and they have multiple colors now. I thought these were not available. They're available now. Link is below in the description. All right. Now I need to cut this. Here, the chicken. I'm taking the chicken out. This is a lot of chicken. This is like, this is like more than, this is like a couple servings of chicken. All right, put this in here, fine, fine. It's, it's weird, the, the, the family pack of chicken, the family pack of chicken at Whole Foods, they give you so much more chicken for less money. It's like two breasts. They gave me two breasts. Look at this. All right, let me just cut it up. I'm just going to cut it up again. Uh, I'll cut it fast. Amuse yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves while I'm cutting. Hopefully this is very fast. Uh, I'm cutting right now. Oh, there's no good way to get the tendon out of a chicken breast. I've watched multiple videos. The videos all say, do this, do this, do this. And when you actually try it, it never works. There is no good way to actually pull the tendon out of a chicken breast. I end up just cutting around it. It just it can't do it. Can't do it. Just cut it off. That's the simplest thing. Just cut it off. All right, I am now cutting the chicken. Oh, thank you. Oh, no. Who donated? It was... I can't see it. American Rebel. Thank you, American Rebel. I used my pinky to touch my iPad because the pinky hadn't touched the chicken yet. All right, I got to cut this up. We got to get going. See, I've made stir fry twice, so I'm, I'm a pro with... Uh, no, I've made stir fry for two weeks now, so I'm a pro at the cutting. See my awesome cutting knife? My professional chef's knife for cutting? Let me say again, if you shop at Whole Foods, get the multi-pack, the family multi-pack of chicken breast. They give you like, it's like, it's like, it's like twice the chicken for like less money. It's actually more. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, I think it's twice the chicken for less money than if you buy like to the two pack or the one pack. It's ridiculous. Everything's biased towards, families have it so easy, they get to buy everything so cheap. Maybe that's, what, is it, maybe that's why people, so many people get married and have kids. It's because it's so much cheap to buy the family, so much cheaper to buy the family packs. All right, uh, one chicken breast is cut. Now for the other one. So much chicken. So much chicken. It's so much chicken. But I don't have to worry, you know, I don't have to worry that there's so much, you know why? Because I have a fucking walk. Almost done cutting, almost done cutting. Almost done. Getting very close.
I think the reason anyone is watching this stream is because they see how I cook and then they feel a lot better about themselves. Oh, guys, almost done. All right, guys, hold on. Oh, oh, look at all that chicken. Look at all that chicken from the family pack. Thanks for your moral support, the guy Smiley. Oh, somebody else made a donation. Uh... Misha! Misha says, put this towards a second cutting board in a new knife. Uh, the, again, I'm afraid of the big knives. Thank you, thank you, Misha. I'll cut myself with a real knife. Oh! Oh! Oh. I was clicking on oven light before, and I was like, why isn't it working? And then I realized, no, it, the light goes on in the oven. All right. All right, I'm going to, all right, guys, here's the deal. The wok is back on, the wok is back on the oven. All right, this is, guys, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Guys, something just hit me. I, I just realized something. I just realized something. Uh, by the way, can can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me okay with the fan on? Can you hear me okay? Hang on. Can you hear me okay with the fan on? Yes, you can hear me. Okay, good. Cool. All right, I just realized something. What I just realized is shit's about to get real because the next step is putting the chicken in the wok and cooking it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's about to get real. Oh, I, I do need to do one thing though. I need to, um, this shrimp has been defrosting here. So let me pour the water out. No, oh, I gotta do this, hold on. The shrimp needs to defrost just a little bit more, so let me just put a little more water on the shrimp, and it'll be the shrimp will be ready to go once I cook the chicken. All right, guys, this is it. I'm, I'm turning the heat on. I'm turning, by the way, so before I turn the heat on, um, from watching the wok videos, what I remember is, you know, you just, you, you don't want to put that much oil in there. You want to put like kind of like a thin coating of oil in the wok. So that's what I have right now. I have like a thin coating of oil in here. There's definitely oil there. Um, but, uh, uh, so... I'm going to turn the heat on. Okay, the heat is now on. We're so close. We're so close. Let's see. JB says thin coating. <laughs> Everybody's talking about the paper towels. People are upset with the paper towels. <laughs> Ray says walk away for the walk. Oh, thank you, Upstate Dad. Thank you, Upstate Dad, for joining us. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, there's, there's no if, there's no seasoning of meat going on here. I'm gonna put a little of so I will put a little stir fry sauce on the meat after I cook it before I cook it the final time. But but if you're looking for a seasoning of meat, uh, you've come to the wrong uh, cooking stream. Shane is warning me about flare-ups. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, let's see. Season the chicken. No, no, I'm not seasoning the chicken. All right, guys, look, this is about to get really real. Uh, I have the wok here. You can see the wok. It's heating up. There's oil in it. The chicken is here. I mean, so we're about to start cooking. Oh, no. Now, I've, I've done stir fry with my frying pan for two hours, for two weeks without causing a fire. So hopefully nothing about this will cause a fire. Yeah, people are just watching maybe because they think I'm going to cause an accident. All right. All right. I'm seeing some smoke come out of the oil, come out of the wok. Does, it, does that mean it's time for me to put the... Uh, does it mean, does it, is it time for me to put the chicken in? Because I'm seeing some smoke coming out of the wok. Let's see. Oh, Trey Shepard said their, na their username, my poop, my poop is stinky. Thank you, Trey Shepard. Yes, I do remember. Welcome back with a new username. It's time. People are saying it's go time. Okay, it's go time. All right, I have my stir. I have, I have this thing. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to try this. I got a plate. I got to put my plates out here. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. I'm just going to throw it in there. I'm going to throw it in. This is going to be, uh, this is a disaster. It's already a disaster. Whoa! I'm going to open the window. Hold on, wait. It's getting smoky in here. It's getting smoky. I open the I open the window. It's getting smoky. All right, now it's better. Oh my gosh! This is so different than the frying pan. I hope I don't set off the smoking alarm in the building. I just opened the window. It's different than the frying pan. I need to move it around because the frying pan, it just moves smoothly, but this I kind of have to push things around. The chicken's getting brown. It, it is cooking. By the way, every technique I'm doing, you should not follow any of my technique. My technique is probably all wrong. The chicken looks and smells better than when I cooked it in the frying pan, I'll tell you that.
the sound is so much better with the wok than the frying pan too. It sounds right. It's very, it's close to done, guys. It's close to done. It's close to done. I think, I think the chicken's done for now. All right, that was scary. That was very scary. For a while, I thought I was going to... It, it definitely is way more smoky doing it in the wok than the frying pan. Uh, and I thought I was going to set off the smoke alarm, but I, I, I opened the window. I think we're going to be good. But I'm very happy with how the chicken looks. I haven't tasted it, but when you cook it in the wok, it, it looks so much better. Uh, also, I think it cooks faster because there's more surface area in the wok. That frying pan is so small. But this is what the chicken looks like, look. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, it looks way better uh, than it did uh, coming out of the uh, frying pan. People are wondering if it's raw. I think it's fine, I cooked it for like several minutes. We'll see, I, I'm gonna have to put, I, I'm putting it back in for a little more anyway after I cook the shrimp. Now look, I gotta put some more. I gotta put some more oil in here. I gotta put some more oil in here. More oil. More oil. Okay, there's some oil in there. Now, this is gonna be this is gonna be a worry. Uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, our viewer Gingerella says the pan was too hot for the uh, for the uh, for the for the oil. Hey, so look, here's my plan. Um, when I'm done, when I'm when I'm done cooking, I'm gonna eat it. And while I'm eating it, hang on, uh, guys, real quick. While I'm eating, I'd love for you to tell me what I did wrong and all your suggestions while I'm eating because I'm cooking right now. So keep them coming. But I will, once I'm done and I'm eating, I'm going to eat in front of you, which will be disgusting. But I'll read all your comments and you can tell me all the things I did wrong because I'd love to hear your suggestions. Uh, hey, thank you, Misha. Wash your hands, the handle you just touched. I'll wash my hands again. Oh, oh huh. uh, Lamar Watkins says, go buy some takeout from downtown. I'll spot you. People seem very concerned for me. Hey, thank you, Misha and Lamar Watkins. Okay, look, it's time to do the shrimp. Um, it's time to do the shrimp, but... The problem is the shrimp are defrosted, but they're kind of, they have like, they have a little water on them. So I, the, when, I, when I put the shrimp into the wok, I'm gonna get like, 
some kind of splatter. I'm definitely going to get some splatter when I put the shrimp into the wok. So, so uh, that's going to be a concern. But what can I do? That's how I've been doing it. So I, I, I hope this isn't... Um, uh, I hope this isn't going to wreck everything. All right, get ready, guys. Get ready. All right, here we go. This is going to be a disaster. Ooh, there's one little piece of chicken here i got to get out of here. That's going to burn. Uh, get, yeah, get ready for a disaster when I cook the shrimp. This is coming next. Here we go. The heat is back on. Breaking news. The heat is back on. The heat is back on. Uh, this, this is probably going to be the most dangerous part of the whole thing, is cooking the shrimp. This is going to be the most dangerous thing, because I think it's going to flare up. There's going to, you know, it's just, it's going to be a mess. Use paper towel. Yeah, I will use paper towel on the shrimp. That's a good idea. I'm going to do this. Hang on. All right, it's getting hot, guys. All right, wish, wish me luck. Hey, thank you, Garth Russell. Garth says we need Wuchner branded wax apron shirt. My logo will be a house on fire. And that's going to be my logo, a house on fire. All right, guys. This is, this is going to be a mess. This is going to be a mess. I'm putting the shrimp in now. Wish, wish me luck. Here we go. It's going to splatter. It's going to splatter. Oh, no. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's better than with the frying pan. That was way less bad than I thought it would be. Oh, but it's cooking so fast. It's cooking so fast. This is so much better than cooking with a frying pan. It's crazy. It's so much better than with a frying pan. These brown really quickly, so I, I have, I'm going to have to guess when they're done.
Maybe close to done? Maybe close to done? I have no idea. It's feeling like they might be done. Hold on. I'm just guessing that they're done. I'm going to cook them a little more in a bit, in a bit in a minute. There's all this gooing, there's all this like residue at the bottom of the pan compared to the frying pan, which I actually like. Uh, all right, now. I have no idea how this is going to taste, but it, 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 it's, um, it, is, it has felt better uh, to cook in the wok so far than it, than it felt to cook uh, in the frying pan. <laughs> Let's see here. The Food Poisoning Network, says Lamar. All right, we got to do the veggies. Got to do the veggies. Got to do the veggies. A little more oil. A little more oil. Oh, peanuts, too. We're, we're almost done. We're almost done. It's almost time to eat. It's almost time to eat. Mmm. Okay, we got broccoli, green beans, snow peas. Snow peas, green beans, broccoli. I need a little more green beans. Oh. Okay, heat is going back on. Get ready for the exciting finale as we cook the vegetables for like a minute or so, and then we're gonna throw the meat back in for like a minute with the vegetables. Oh, I forgot, hold on. Kick them in. Kick them in uh, stir fry sauce. Putting a little of this on the meat. I forgot. I forgot to shake it before. I. I took me two weeks to figure out that you had to shake it. Oh, that's how the meat looks so far. All right, it's time for the veggies. It's time for the veggies. Here we go, guys. There's no going. It's too late to go back. It's too late to go back. It's time for the veggies. Let's go. Here we go. Veggies. Broccoli. Oh, no. Green beans. Oh gosh, it's cooking so fast.
The veggies are cooking so fast. I gotta put the meat back in soon. The rest of blocking. All right, we're putting the meat back in. Here goes nothing. Ah! It's all cooking. Oh no, what's going on? Oh no, I forgot the peanuts. I forgot the peanuts. I want to put in some peanuts. Oh no. Yes. Now it's gonna burn. Uh, I'm almost done. A little more and that's it. Alright, enough, enough, heat off. Here's my plate. I present to you stir-fried chicken and shrimp with broccoli, green beans, snow peas, and peanuts. <laughs> Seth says gross. All right, all right, all right. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, folks. This stream isn't over yet. This stream is just beginning because now we have to taste it. Now we have to taste it. So uh, that's going to be the big question is how does it taste? So what we're going to do is... What we're going to do is, uh, I love the person, F Fluffy Nuff says boring as hell. So Fluffy Nuff, Fluffy Nuff has been sitting here watching a YouTube video that they think is boring as hell. That's what they do with their time, is they watch videos they think are boring as hell, and they, they have nothing better to do than do that and then type in the chat room, boring as hell. Thanks, Fluffy Nuff. Exactly, agenda-free cooking. But guys, we got to eat it. All right, hold on. I, I'm going to adjust the camera. We're going to eat. We're going to eat right now. It's time to eat. Time to eat. Dinner time. Dinner's ready. All right, so let me, let me adjust the camera, and we're going to eat and see how it is. All right, so the camera needs to go. The camera needs to go. We're going to use my $149 way too expensive chair. We'll give it some use. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to uh, switch the piece of paper. <laughs> Let's see. Put that there. All right, that's good so far. All right. We're on. I'm turning the light around. Here's the light. Here's the light. We're going to hang on, folks. Move the light down. Hang on. Good. 
So far, so good, I think. Here's that. Um, and now we're gonna move the microphone. Ooh, that's too far over. Wait a second. Hang on. We gotta switch that over. This should go here. That should go there. Okay. Good. Move the microphone over. Oh no, I gotta put the rest of the green beans back. How is this going to taste? How's it going to taste, guys? How's it going to taste? How is it going to taste? Who knows? We will see right now. Get ready to watch me eat. Oh, it's a little too bright in here. Hang on. Turn it down a little bit. And then I'm going to move the piece of paper. I'll move the piece of paper to take care of the spot. Because I know it'll drive our audience crazy. Uh, right? <laughs> did I get it? Give me a little lower. we doing right now let's see how are we doing I, I'm so ready to eat this I think I can maybe well I'll leave it okay hang on hang on so what let me just I'd open the window before I think I can finally close the window <laughs> I think I can close the window I gotta have beverages, I gotta have water, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have some regular water, regular water and soda water. Hang on. Hang on here. Regular water and soda water. All right, hang on. I have my canteen. It's my canteen. I think I put, uh, in the last stream we did, I put a link to my canteen in there. And then I'm gonna have a can of two waters. Got some soda water too. Guys, get ready. All right, how do you think it's, how do you think it's gonna taste? How is it gonna taste? How is it gonna taste? Let me shut this off. That might make things better if I shut that light off. I should probably do this. What if I do this? Is the lighting better if I do it this way? How is it? Let's see. Oh, I gotta get the salt. I have the salt. Oh my gosh. I like that light on back there. No, I think this looks fine. All right. Oh my gosh. Guys, how is this gonna be? How's it gonna be? How's it gonna be? Uh, JB says, eat it, it looks fine. The, the light is on the stove because the stove stays lit as long as the surface is hot. The, the, the heat is off but the light will stay on until the surface cools. To remind you not to put your hand on it. All right, so guys, I'm about to eat my, I mean, there's so much food here. Let me first say this, guys, if you've never cooked with a wok and you're just cooking with a frying pan, it's so much nicer to have all of the space in the wok. It just, and definitely, uh, so so it, it fits all the food fine. Um, the food seems to cook faster. Um, 
and um, it splatters way less, way less splatter. Uh, so I, I'm so, I hope the food tastes okay because I'm very, very happy with the cooking experience. Now with a nonstick pan, when I cook, there's no mess in the pan after. There's a bit of a mess to clean up in the wok, but I don't mind it. And I kind of like that while you're cooking, like all the residue kind of stays in there uh, for, for the other stuff to cook in. So, yeah, it's cold now. Well, you know, so eat now. Hold on, I'm putting salt on it. I got to put salt in it. I salt my food. This is the one seasoning I do in addition to the stir fry sauce. So I put a bunch of salt on it. I got to say also with the stir fry stuff, um, uh, every uh, a couple times I've had I'm gonna have extra now, but it, it actually is very good when you have it left over when you when you put it away and then you heat it up like a day later it tastes great. Yeah, I did oil the wok. All right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna taste a piece of chicken. Let's make sure the chicken's over. The chicken looks done. It looks done. Mmm, the chicken is good. It's interesting. I think, so I cooked the chicken and shrimp less than I did when I used a frying pan. But I think, I think the chicken, it's like, it's dry. It's not like crazy dry, but it's drier than when I cook it in the frying pan. So I think next time when I cook in the wok, uh, I need to cook the chicken less. I just think it cooks way faster in the wok. Yeah, it might have been overcooked chicken. Darren says overcooked. I might have overcooked the chicken just because I, I was the old, my what I was going off of is just what I would how long I would cook it in the frying pan, and I never overcooked anything in the frying pan. Hmm. Tracy Johnson says, turn down the heat a little next time. So this is what it looks like. Here. Um, so, so, I will say this. I really like the way the chicken looks and the way the texture of the chicken, too, is much better in the wok than in the frying pan. But I think I need to cook it less. All right, let me try the shrimp. Let me try a shrimp. Let me try a shrimp. All right, here's the shrimp. I'm going to try a shrimp now. The shrimp are good. The shrimp I did not overcook. You know what also? Let me say this also. I, I think I'm also responding to this. The food when I cooked it in the frying pan was much more oily. The food was way more oily in the flying frying pan. Uh, and my guess is that there's maybe much more surface area to cook on in the wok. Uh, and so not everything is sitting in the oil. Uh, also maybe, uh, who knows, but I'm just telling you, I, I like that everything is not so oily. Yeah, the veggies from the wok are great. The veggies from the wok are way less oily. And I think I might have just been using less oil. Yeah, I use a lot of salt. I need salt in my diet. Um, the, the veggies are fantastic in the wok. Oh, they're, they're better than the frying pan. Mmm, good. Yeah, the as um as Geraldine says, the veggies are crunchy. <clears throat> yes. I'm sorry about the crunching sounds, but what can I do? I just had another shrimp. The shrimp is good. The shrimp might be a little overcooked too. The stuff cooks faster. It cooked, I, I was erring on the side of overcooking rather than undercooking because I had not used the wok before. 
I'd rather not get sick. But the stuff cooks way faster in the wok. It's very quick. Um, it takes a longer, much longer time in the frying pan. Um, so yeah, next time I do it, I'll, I'll cook the chicken and the um, shrimp for less time. But everything's really good. Oh, uh, Bid Wilkie, I screw the top on the canteen every, every time I drink because I don't want to knock it over because I have like my phone and my microphone on the table and everything. So I don't want to spill. Hmm. Linda says, my mom must be so proud. My mom likes that my, my nieces, my nieces liked watching my last cooking video. So my mom likes that my nieces like watching the video. Um, someone said, someone said, do you, um, do you, um, save money by not eating out? I don't know that I save money. I mean, I got to buy the, the, the meat and the veggies. It's probably similar. I don't, when I would eat out, I don't eat that expensive when I go out, but I just like the food better, honestly. And I can do, look, I can cook this whenever I want. I just, it's midnight right now. There's not many places I could go at midnight and get this meal. But I'm sure other people save a lot of money. Yes, I'm going to, I mean, but it's, it's, it's interesting when you cook in the wok. It's, um, you know, when you cook in a frying pan, the food just moves around really easy because it's a non-stick surface. But it's so much more fun and it feels better cooking in a wok with the stir fry. It's just nice to have a big thing with high sides. Um, it's just way better. I'm so happy having a wok. Mm. But, yeah, and so... Uh, we the tech says you need soy sauce or oyster sauce. I used a little stir fry sauce, but I'm going to have to learn how to use different sauces and stuff. I'm very, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm at a very beginner level. But I want to at least get used to making the basic stuff first, and then I can start messing around with it. Darren said, not a bad first run. Yeah, nothing. It got a little iffy when I put the chicken in for the first time and it was smoking. I thought I was going to set off the smoke alarm. Mm. A couple people like Bruno are asking about rice. Um, so I love white rice, but I can't really eat it because I try to avoid white bread products because my metabolism is slow and I'll get really fat. Um, I do eat brown rice. But it's just another thing to prepare. Like, like when I make this, this is more than enough food, food for me. Like, I'm going to have so much extra food from making this. Thank you, Jay Marie. I have a rice cooker. It's just I don't have the time to, like, do all the prep. But this is more than enough food. This is, there's so much food here. This is an enormous amount of food I just made. I'm going to have, like, a meal for tomorrow. Oh, hello, Tom O'Neill. Craig says I should get sesame oil. But definitely the chicken, the chicken cooks way faster. Ne next time I'll know to cook, to cook the chicken. Here's what happened. Let me explain what happened. When I put the chicken in with the wok, right, very quickly... Very quickly, the skin, the chicken started turning brown. And I was like, whoa. Normally, that takes a lot longer in the frying pan. And I didn't know, is it turning brown because it's cooking faster? Or is it turning brown just because that's what happens in a wok? So I figured, you know, to be safe, even though it's turning brown, I'm going to cook it longer. But now I realize that when it was turning brown, it was just turning brown because it was cooking faster. So now I know. Thank you, Judy Socket. 
Soul cages think I thinks I warmed up the pan too long. Shane thinks the oil was too hot. I'm reading your comments. Thank you for having dinner with me. I'm reading your comments on the air. I uh, thank you, see Michelle Sparks. What? Uh, I need a wooden spatula. What's wrong with my spatula? Thank you, Charlene. Yeah. So, by the way, Dak says my wife said you chew too loud. I think, by the way, so. Yes, I apologize about the chewing. I never eat on air unless it's for a stream like this. But I think the microphone does a very good job of picking up the chewing. Soda water's right here. But I mean, for my for what I do for like work, like if you have weird hours, it's awesome. I'm gonna put a little more salt on. I I know I use a lot of salt. I don't really have salt the rest of the day. When I, when I, like my breakfast foods have no salt on them. Uh, I don't usually s snack during the day. If I do, it's like a piece of fruit or vegetable with no salt in it. So my entire salt intake comes from my, my, my one big meal, basically. And then like, I'll probably go, like I usually go for a run, like very late at night at, at ungodly hours these, these days. So I, uh, yes, I use salt, but remember, I didn't use any salt at all in the preparation of the food. I put a I, well. There's probably some salt in the little bit of um, sauce, uh, the the uh, stir fry sauce. But yeah, so I'm putting a bunch of salt on. But that's what I do. But again, there's I don't have salt the rest of the day, and I don't put it in the food when I'm when I'm prepping it. There's no marinade on this stuff. Oh, thank you, Michael B. Hey, thanks for a donation, Michael B. I appreciate that. Thank you, Michael B. Someone tell Max Max Tro that the stove is still is not still on. Yeah, as as Grim says, as Grim says, you need salt if you work out. There is so much food here. Oh my gosh. Please, well, I, I need to like, when I do a cooking stream, I need to write in capital letters in the, in the description, the stove is not still on, the light stays on to warn you about the hot surface. But... If you work weird hours, stir fry is awesome. I guess just being a cook, able to cook is awesome because you don't have to eat garbage at like three in the morning. You can eat whenever you want and eat a perfectly good healthy meal. Melvin Michelle says, Trisha Paytas, Trisha Paytas, Enjoys when people chew loudly. I like that there was a Trisha Paytas reference in the chat room. Um, I have never had mushrooms in stir fry. Charcuterie wants me to try mushrooms. Maybe I should. Bruna says, as a night owl, the only place for me to grab food is McDonald's or 7-Eleven. Yeah, it's so much better. I think I also might have lost one pound in two weeks from eating stir-fry, not eating other stuff. Just great. Um... Keisha says, at least you're not eating random seafood. Oh, my God. Everybody with the stove light. Oh, my gosh. No one listens. Mm. Mm. 
Fahrenheit 451 says, try adding some shelled edamame next time. Hey, so let me say this. By the way, if you are looking for a wok, especially if you're looking for one that's good on a glass flat top stove, a glass top stove, uh, this one is really good. I'm very happy with it. Um, it's a, again, it has a flat, it has a flat bottom, as I said before, it's a flat bottom. So this wok was recommended for electric stoves because uh, a traditional wok has a round bottom, but you don't want that on a flat stove. You can, you can use that on like a gas stove where the flames coming up, but I'm very, I'm very happy with this wok. I'm not happy that when they, when Amazon shipped it, the handle was sticking out of the box, but I'm very happy with the wok. So, uh, that the link to that is in the description. Now people are saying the light is on just to bother me. Green eyed lady says I'm probably going to buy that walk. Yeah, I'm telling you guys. You can watch my series of videos where I I did one video on should I cook for myself. I did the stream when I first did stir fry and that was like two or three weeks ago and now I'm doing this. But it's just, it's not hard. If you don't care about like super proper technique like me, it's not hard. I'm sure it's much harder to do it like really, really well. But I'm just doing a very basic job. But it's like, I mean, how easy is it? You're in the grocery store. Just You can just buy a couple chicken breasts. You know what? I, I've cooked steak a couple times. I just go buy a steak. I buy a steak. I chop it up. I put it in there with some vegetables. It's great. It's so easy. Oh, learn to bake, Jessica says. I don't really eat baked goods because my, my metabolism is too slow. I can't eat them. I've been very lucky on the cooking streams that during our cooking, our two cooking streams, there has not been any big news emergency. Because what am I, what am I going to do if that happens? <laughs> Did I mention how much food I cooked? <laughs> There's so much food. I'm going to need a big, a big Tupperware thing to put this in. T. Michelle Sparks says, what are we cooking next? I don't know. I mean, the thing is, I might have to start messing with um, what I what I do for stir fry. Because I'm having it so much. I'm having it like every day. I'm going to get sick of it. Uh, Darren Markley, this wok is pre-seasoned. You did not have to season this wok. Um, Melissa says, I live in fear of breaking news because it's, uh, it's interrupting my Lutner content. You know, they tell you, like the how to be a YouTuber videos, they say, they say you got to niche down. The idea is, if you're just starting out on YouTube, if you just make like generic content, then... Like there's so many people with so many channels that you're going to be lost in all of those more established channels. So what they say to do is you niche down where you choose a specific type of, of programming you do that other people aren't doing or not, not, not many successful people, not many huge channels are. And so that way people can find you. Um, so I'm doing like the ultimate version of it, which is a stream where people have to watch me eat and hear me chew. Unfortunately, when you do that, 
um, what happens is you, you cut off a lot of the audience. But, but the 0.1% who might want that, get that. Did I get, did, hey, let me just see, did I get everybody's donations? Hang on. I need to check. Let me just take a photo of the donations from my computer so I can make sure I got them. Hold on. I think I thanked everybody who made donations, but, oops, that wasn't a very good photo. Misha was the first one. Yeah, I think I, Garth. Oh, I no, I missed one. Hold on, wait. Try this again. Um, Brid Bridget Parker made a donation that I missed. So thank you, Bridget Parker. Uh, Blue Chainsaw Man made a donation that I missed. Oh, Blue Chainsaw Man said, sending lava lamp tomorrow with other goodies. Thank you, Blue Chainsaw Man. And Bridget Parker said, mukbang and story time. Yes, yeah, so, I guess so somewhat. And Fahrenheit 451 wants me to add garlic edamame. Thank you, Fahrenheit 451. I'm almost, I'm almost done eating. I'm almost done eating. Yankee says, you made me hop, hop, uh, hungry now. I'm eating sh chips and salsa. I don't know if anyone... Hold on. If people sent me messages on Twitter during this, I can't really see them because I'm not on my computer. So I'm just checking to see if anybody wrote me on Twitter. Uh, no, I think we're good. Oh, no, hold on. Jeff Wiz sent me something. Jeff sent... <laughs> Jeff Wiz... Gosh, I don't think... I don't. Think, can you see this? Jeff Wiz sent me this. Uh... Let's see if you let's see if you can see it. Thank you, Jeff Wiz. The house is on fire. Oh, Amy and Amy sent me a suggested knife from from Victorinox. She sent me a suggested knife. Let me show you the knife Amy sent me. No, she didn't send it to me. She sent me the link to it. This is the knife that Amy sent me. It's hard to see. Thank you for the suggestions. Oh! Le Petit Silver says I should cook scallops next. I should cook scallops. I like scallops. I've never cooked them. Uh, I, I might have to do that. I have no idea how long they take to cook, though. But yeah, I, I think I think cooking scallops is a good idea. <laughs> Luna Girl says, "What wax melt do you have in your warmer? They're in the in the cupboard warmer." Fahrenheit says they're a bit dodgy to cook. The vegetables are so much better in the wok. It's crazy. Nosy Rosie, 
I don't eat desserts anymore. I, I can't do it. I get too fat. First, last, first, last. What do you want me to do if, if I want to keep the stream going while I eat? I gotta eat on. I gotta eat. What can I do? I agree with C Cat Lover. I gotta like um get all the food out there before I actually cook. I need to get. Oh, we might do. We might do a review. There's a colander people told me to buy, like a steel colander, so I could like strain my shrimp and stuff. Hey, thanks, Idaho Star, for your kind wishes. Um, Gingerella says scallops cook really fast, just like shrimp. Martin. One time I ate on, a, on an agenda-free newscast and it was a disaster. You will not see me eating on agenda-free TV. Uh, there's well over, half, well over half my food is here still. I haven't even made a dent in this. Yeah, I'll save money on this because I'll have a whole other meal. LJD says no returns. Exactly, no returns. The next time, what I need to do next time, I have to cook the chicken less because I overcooked the chicken so it dried out. And I probably need to cook the shrimp a little less too. Stuff cooks way better and, and way faster in the wok, so I got to cook everything less. No, I'm keeping the walk. It's great. Melvin, I think I did have an apple on Agenda Free TV. Baron says, I like it. A walk. Steve Walkner, right. McFly, why would I hate you? I'm almost done eating. Guys, I'm almost done eating. Just, just, by the way, my schedule is messing me up so much. I'm on the worst schedule. The last three days, I've gone to bed at like 10 and woke up at like 5 p.m. It's the worst. I got to get off the schedule. I might be able to do it tonight. We'll see. We'll see if there's news tonight. But I'm like four hours ahead of schedule because I've eaten dinner. To the, I've eaten my big meal the last couple nights at like four in the morning or five in the morning. It's been awful. It's just off, just awful. I hate it. Yeah, as Tom says, we've had a lot of coverage on on Agenda Free TV lately. So you just you cannot you gotta just respond to when the news happens. And like, I can feel it in my head, like, it's just like I don't feel right when it's, when it's, when you don't get any daylight. It's awful. Well, Amy says they're having the huge funeral right now. They're burying Soleimani on Tuesday. Rusty G says he makes food late too.
Charlene says, still has 677 watching. Well, like 600 of those people, I think, fell asleep. Whenever I do these streams, people say I'm making them hungry. Hey, thank you, Harley Yaya. Harley says, food looks great. Marinate your chicken next time, and it won't be as dry. Ah, thanks for charting this channel. So much fun. Thank you. Thank you, Harley. So pretty much every cooking video for Stir Fry talks about marinating the meat. Now, I haven't been doing that. Uh, I'm trying to keep it simple because, you know, a lot of times, like, I don't know what time I'm eating, and I just want to get it over with. Um, but if there's a way I can do it simply, fine. But it's like, again, I, I, I don't, part of the allure of the cooking is to do it as fast as possible. And that it doesn't take that long. So if there's some kind of marinade I can do that's like really, really simple and fast and doesn't require, and I don't even know what I'm going to eat. So I, I'm going to be, that's, that's the, totally the kind of thing I'll be looking into now that I've like figured out some basics. But I have never had the problem with the dry chicken until this. This is literally the first time. I never once with the frying pan had the problem with the dry chicken. But I think it's because the cooking time is so different. Pineapple juice. Han Schelke says pineapple juice. I'd love to put some pineapple... I would love to use pineapple in my stir fry. Mark, this bottle is, should I put this in the description? I talked about this the last stream. It's my canteen. Does anyone want, any, does anyone want to know where to get a canteen like this? I can, I can put the link in the description. Let me know. Take me five seconds. All right. Give me give me ten seconds. I'm putting the link to the canteen description. It's great. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. I believe, I believe the link to the canteen is now in the uh, description. Did I make it in there? Hang on. Hang on. Is anyone, oh yeah, it is in the description. Okay, good. Yeah, so the link to the canteen, I love my canteen. My Nalgene Canteen, uh, the link to this is in the description. Hmm. All right, um, I, I, I need like three more pieces of food, and then I'm going to put the food away. But there is so much food. The great thing, though, is with the wok, I cooked so much food, it didn't feel like I was cooking a lot of food because this thing... This thing fills up with food so fast. You don't have room for all the food in here. The wok, you can fit so much food in there. Is paper towel holder from Amazon? No, my paper towel holder, I think I got that at like Bed Bath & Beyond or something. Oh, actually, I bet I can find it. I think my paper towel is simp holder is simply human. Sig says the oven light went off. See, the oven light goes off when the turf surface cools down. Yeah, I'm going to stop eating in about two seconds. Two seconds. 
It's time. It's time to stop. Hang on. I need to put a link to these things. I love these things. My Rubbermaid food containers. These are so good. Um, what's the brand of these? It's something like Easy Find Lid. Easy Find Lid. These are awesome. I have two sizes. They're so good. These are the best little containers. Uh, the small in, the, in this one with the easy find lid. I'm going to go put these in the description. Hold on, let me do this because those are great. Those are fantastic. Rubbermaid easy find. Yeah. Uh... Here we go. So I, I put the link in the uh, description for the easy find thing. Now the link I put in is like for the 40 piece set. I just have like a few of them. I kind of want to get some more, but, but so I just, I put the link in just so you could see what I'm talking about, but these are really great. I'm very happy with these, but they're not the same. Like I've seen these for sale in the supermarket and they weren't the easy find kind. This kind, the easy find, it's a little bit harder. It's not so soft, but they're fantastic. They're so good. Oh. Harley Yaya says, set aside a food prepping day with your busy schedule. It will, be, it will well be worth it. So that's interesting, Harley. Harley thinks I should set aside some food prep. Maybe I will. Thank you, Harley, for your support. I appreciate that, Harley. Thank you. Yeah, and the lids are the same for all the different... The lids are all the same. It's just different size of these. Uh... Yeah, Luna Girl says Target has them they, in Costco. Oh, I guess uh, she says I have those. Target and Costco have them. They also have green lids and with glass bottoms. Yeah, I, I think I, I originally found these at Target. They're great. All right, so I'm going to put the food. I'm going to put the rest of the food in, in here. Oh, my gosh. This will be so good. This is, this is more than a, I don't even have to cook for my lunch tomorrow because I have this whole meal. It will be delightful. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, this is all gone. Hang on. So let me just do this. Put it away. That's a whole meal in there. The, 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 the stove area is way less messy right now than it usually would be because I use my wok rather than the frying pan. Oh, delightful. Wasn't that delightful, guys? Wasn't that, wasn't that yummy? Yeah, Le Petit Silver, I had, I, I used, it's so weird. It's, it's, at, when they, they, the, the amount of chicken you get, when you, when you buy a three pack, a, a value pack of chicken at uh, Whole Foods, they give you three individual packs of these. So, for $13, I got three of these. And each one of these, it has like two small breasts in it. 
So, which is like way more than you'd eat for a serving. So it's, it's a really good, these, they, they sell these for cheaper, the value packs. You get three of these in a value pack. And then also I don't have to wrap it up because I just cook it all at once. They come individually sealed. So I was buying the two breasts, but then I would take one out and then have to wrap up the other one. These are good, but it's so cheap. It's, it's 13 bucks for like six chicken breasts. It's crazy. So pretty ridiculous. John Mark says, use honey on your browser to save on your purchases. You know, I, I thought about it and I was like, you know, I, I don't like the idea that like honey might be slowing my computer down or what. Who knows what honey is doing when I'm browsing? But for some, I know a lot of people use it. Mm. I got to finish my water. Uh, Lamar Watkins says, I remember buying 24 to 30 chicken breasts for $10. Hannah says, I fell asleep and missed it. Mm. Let's see. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Orphan Annie Oakley, for your kind words. Quentin says, uh, he, he, Quentin might have to go get uh, pizza slices from down the street. Unfortunately, now I have to clean up, but it won't be that bad. What I, I don't know if anybody else does this. When I do, when I have to clean up, is like I'll put a, I'll put like a video on, like a YouTube video or something, and I'll put my Bluetooth headphones in and I'll listen to it while cleaning up. So I, I entertain myself while cleaning up. Hey, thank you, Cecil Masters Jr. Oh, just so you can see it now. So this wok, that's what it looks like now. See how there's like there's like caked on stuff in it? So I'm gonna have to clean that, but it's I'm fine with it. It's not gonna be bad. But supposedly what they say is with a wok like this, it gets better the more you use it, the better it should get. That's what they say. It's better the more you use it, they say. Melissa says, what would I try making instead of stir fry? I don't know. Like, honestly, honestly, when I, if you go back to the video where I said I want to cook for myself, what I literally said in that video, what I literally said in that video was I said, I just would like to be able to have a bowl of steak or chicken or shrimp with vegetables. That's all I said. I said, if I could just have that good quality steak, chicken, shrimp with vegetables, like, excuse me, I would be very happy. And basically with stir fry, I can do that. I just, I get the vegetables, I get the meat and I cook it. It's that easy. So I think though, I think what I might want to start trying to do is uh, deal, doing stuff with flavorings. You know, like maybe use a certain kind of sauce or something or certain ingredients to like spice or, or just increase the flavor. Because right now I'm, I'm literally having the same thing every time. Uh, so, you know, maybe if I used a certain kind of sauce or something, it would taste different. Hannah Ken recommends Indian dishes. Lin G says teriyaki. Yeah, as Grimm says, scall scallops might be good. C. Michelle Sparks says get a good soy sauce. Calamity Jade is saying, try washing it without soap. Charlene says, get a good cookbook. The thing is, though, everything has to be like, like, I mean, look, this takes a while when I do it with you guys. I mean, it doesn't take that long to cook. But, 
like it doesn't, what if I'm just doing it and I'm not making a video, it's pretty quick to do. But my, my schedule, I, I can't make things that take that long because like breaking news could happen at like any time. So I, 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 it's, I don't want to get into a thing where I'm cooking these giant dishes that take forever to make. And then I have to be, I have to, everything's got to be on a schedule because I don't know what my schedule is going to be. Steve Edwards says, try manwiches. O-D-D-O-O says, use white sauce. Yeah, C. Michelle Spark says, one thing at a time. It's like with this channel, one thing at a time. I know it's a, the lighting is a little bright right now. I don't know why that is. Like, let me look at you and see how my face is. That's eh, not that bad. This is like, this is kind of like makeup lighting. The lighting was better when I was cooking. I had set the lighting up for when I was cooking, not for when I was eating. I think what I need to do is do this. Let me turn it down a little bit. I just turned the lighting down. Let's see how that looks. That's probably better. Quinton says, don't put soap. I don't think I've ever had a cast iron anything before. A couple people have said that the green bowls were dog bowls. Look, all I can say, those green plastic bowls are awesome. Uh, Melvin says the lighting makes you look like a beauty vlogger. Somebody, we're going to do a beauty stream. We're going to do a makeup stream because I think it might have been Amy who sent me the uh, Shane Dawson mini conspiracy palette. So we are going to be doing my first makeup stream where you guys help me with the makeup because I don't, I've never used makeup. So we're, we're, we're going to be doing, it's going to be amazing, uh, uh, an unboxing and makeup review of Shane Dawson mini conspiracy palette. She sent it to me, so we're going to do it. Yeah, Judy, my hair grows really fast. I don't need makeup. I don't need makeup at all. It's just that I got, I'm getting sent the palette, so we're going to do it. We'll do it. Somebody out there must know how to use makeup. Somebody, somebody can walk me through it. Melvin Nassau says, get James Charles to do it with you. If so, if I were really famous, that is somebody I'd want to do a video with. I, I, James Charles, because he's like a big personality. He's an entertaining personality. But unfortunately, I am not James Charles. I don't think James Charles knows who I am. So we're not doing a video together. Yeah, oh, peaks and pokes, within reason, I will try stuff that's sent to me, within reason. Somebody's sending me a lava lamp, Blue Chainsaw Man, so we'll do a review of that. Katie Girl says, love James Charles. No, I... Excuse me. It's got... I, Liberty Square says, if someone sent you a dress, would I wear it? No, it's got to be something like I would normally wear. I mean, makeup's a little different, but like for clothing, if somebody sent me like a shirt, I might try it. No, uh, oh, oh, you're not supposed to use uh, any kind of abrasive pad with this walk. 
That's what they said in the instructions. Um, Harley says, I waited twice and didn't get the conspiracy pallet this holiday. I had to get my daughter James Charles and Jeffree Star again this year. I will get chains when it comes back out with the green in the palette. Yeah, and all, you know, uh, you might, I don't know if you ever caught this. I'm, I won't go through all again, but on a different stream, I explained how I was going to do live coverage of the Shane and Jeffrey, uh, uh release for their makeup. And I, the only reason I didn't do it is because we were like on the air covering fires until like seven in the morning. And then in retrospect, I thought I should have just gotten up and did it, but I was like a zombie. Uh, crazy killer. I hope you're not um, posting fake news in the chat. Crazy killer. I'm not seeing anything about airstrikes. Crazy killer. Why are you talking about airstrikes? I see nothing in my news feed about airstrikes whatsoever. That's fake news. I just checked. There's nothing on it. Yeah, Pe Peaks and Pokes says Crazy Killer will get a strike. No, oh, Crazy Killer said I didn't say they were happening right now. Then why'd you bring it up? Why are you bringing it up in the in the in the walk review chat? Oh, thank you, Lamar. Hey, thanks to all the moderators. We've had Lamar Watkins, Idaho Star moderating. Bridget was there earlier. Uh, Michael B. Give it up for the mods. I think Linda was there. Keisha Fowler. Rusty G. Yay, mods. Yay, mods. Garth Russell. All right, we'll take a few more comments here. But this has been, uh, like, I, I, I got to thank you guys. Like, you guys were a big encouragement for, uh, for cooking. Oh, Tim Parker's watching from New Zealand. Hello, Tim. But you guys were a big encouragement for the cooking. Allison liked the stream. Hey, if you if you do if you do like the stream, feel free to give it a thumbs up if you'd like. If you love the stream and you want to support uh, my full time doing videos lifestyle, most of the time on a, I'm on agenda free TV, but once in a while I'm here. But you can always make a donation too. You know this you can always do it in the YouTube chat, but this, the secret donation address for this channel is Lookner.net. Lookner.net. Oh, and don't forget also, you can always, you can leave comments after the stream. You can leave comments in the chat room because I like to check the comments after the videos. Oh, and also, also, uh, the Discord, the unofficial Lookner Channel Fans Discord, where it's a message board chat room where you can go chat about whatever with other people who watch the channel. That's in between broadcasts. So one of the moderators can put, but if you sign up for it, you get notifications. Make sure if, if you're subscribed to this channel, make sure you have the notifications bell checked and you've selected all notifications. You have to do that to get notifications. Also, you can go to the Discord and sign up for that to get notifications. Also, at Lookner Channel on Twitter is devoted solely to posting notifications about this channel, at Lookner Channel on Twitter. The Great Vanzini says, walk cooking can be so simple, quick, and healthy. Hey, thanks, Tony the Night Owl, for saying thanks. I'm glad, Le Petit Silver, you liked the stream. And 
Yeah, Harley Yaya, the Discord is for both Lookner and Agenda Free TV. Now, the Discord, I need to check out the Discord. I haven't been in there in a while. The Discord right now, is there one part of the Discord where people post about Lookner channel and another one where people post about Agenda Free TV? Or is the Discord now just all like one thing? Is it like one chat room? Someone in the chat room can answer because someone in the chat room knows. Let's see. Let's see what they say. It's one. Yes, it's for both things. Okay, thank you. Julie and Keisha said that. Uh, thanks, Edna Arthur. For saying thanks. And thank you, Futures Past. A lot of people are doing song lyrics like Grass Valley Greg in our chat, based with the word walk. Jess likes how I throw stuff in the pan because I'm scared it's going to light on fire. Oh, by the way, hey, for those of few of you who are still watching, I assume some of you watch a Jennifer TV. I've started doing this thing where I've been leaving the live chat replays up on Agenda Free TV. Now, unfortunately, that means I can't trim the top of the video off. But I've been trying leaving the live chat replay up and just leaving the first minute of the video with the graphic. I just leave that on there in the archives. I don't know if anyone's noticed that, but I thought maybe people would like seeing the chat room. This is for Agenda Free TV. I leave the live chats on these videos all the time. Grass Valley Greg likes it. My nieces are like, I got like four of them. They're like 16 and 14 and like 12 and 10. Yeah, people like it. It's just, I just figured, I, I like having the videos start right away, but... A lot of people have been asking about the chat room, and I figured I'd leave. I mean, it's more of what the channel is, having the chat up there. So, For the Agenda Free TV videos. Haley, Harley, Haley, Harley likes them better. Dan Patch says people can always hide it if they want. Zach likes being, to say, being able to see the chat room. Yeah, no one has told me I don't like having the chat room there. Lamar says sometimes we need the chat replays to go back and catch the bad chatters. Right. As Dan Patch Video says, I mean, if people are new to the channel and they don't see the chat room, they don't get that it's a live channel. I mean, it's, we, we focus on live stuff on, the, um, on Agenda Free TV. So. Tom Mix likes having the chat replay there. How long is this stream? How long have we been on the air for this? I don't even know. Oh, I do know. We started at, like, what, 1030? Okay. Death Cube, if you have a ban question about being banned on the other channel, you should email AFT, AV, AFTV complaints at gmail.com. Cheryl Sibson says sometimes the seeing the chat gives the context of the con- of what you're talking about. Uh, I don't know what the next live stream is going to be. I, I don't know what the next Lookner stream will be. We'll, we'll have to see. Uh, I, I just have to see what's coming up. And also, I need to see uh, what's going on with the news. But, you know, like, like I don't think we've done a Lookner stream in three or four days, but the news has been so busy. By the way, it's so much better having a microphone for these streams. <laughs> it was it, The sound is so much better with the microphone. By the way, it's so much better it's, having It's a ridiculous how much better it is. Oh, thank you so much from Norway, Elwire 
FPV from Norway made a donation and said, cooking everything at home and investing in a small gym, then you don't have to drive a car. No, I, ar I already have a gym uh, in the building. Like, I, I'm, I, I, was, I was driving my car very little before. I barely drive my car at all now. Um, if I knew I was going to like stay here for years and years, I would give up my car. But I don't know where I'm going to be next year. So I, I need to have the car. Um, but I agree with you, L, L Wire. So, but you know, I, L, L Wire says uh, that will leave you with more choices on where to live. I totally agree with you, L Wire, because like now that, now that I cook for myself, I'm not so worried of like, oh, if I move somewhere, I have to be right near a lot of restaurants. I just need to be near a grocery because I can keep food in the house and, and have something good to eat for a meal. So I do agree that assuming I start late like next summer looking to move somewhere, um, it, 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 uh, it frees me from having to be somewhere like right near restaurants as long as I'm near a grocery. So I agree with you, uh, L. Wire. That's a good point. Thank you for your support. Yeah, we might, it might be Florida. I'm thinking of Florida for next year. I'm hoping this is my last winter in uh, in Atlanta. Yeah, Bruno says I think Florida is the place for you. I, I'm I'm strongly leaning towards Florida. I think I'm gonna have to do it. I'm so I hate the winter so much. I hate it, hate it, hate it. V Stag says, get an assistant. If somebody's willing to donate me the salary for an assistant, I'll hire an assistant. Robert, you, YouTube takes 30% of the super chats, but they're fun, the super chats. So if people don't want to give the 30%, they can go donate at lookner.net. Melvin Michelle, I would love to move to Canada if it weren't freezing. I would love to. I'd love to live in other countries. Oh, hold on a second here. Hang on. I need to I need to just make sure I uh, message somebody back. Hold on. I was checking to see. Hang on. Sorry. Intern People say I should hire an intern. My life is, t it's too busy now as it is. <laughs> it's too busy now as it is. Maybe in the future at some point. Maybe in the future I'll, I'll have an intern. I just, I can't worry about it at the moment. I need to know, I need to be in charge of stuff myself. CRT says, I should do a YouTube ad for agenda-free TV. Like I should advertise the channel. It's an interesting thought. I just, I don't have money to advertise. Like, like I'm not making tons and tons of money. I'm trying to just survive. Everything I make goes to like pay all my expenses because I do this full time. It's an interesting thought though. Maybe one day. GK says you don't have to spend much. Even 50 bucks would get you some spots. All right. Maybe I'll look into it. Harley's husband had a gator towards him, come towards him while playing golf in Florida. Judy Wise. Yes, I was. Yes, I was Judy Wise. They were the first ones who let me cover news. All right. 
Uh, last last call for comments now. Last call for comments. Then I need to clean up this. Not not really a mess, but I last call for comments. I need to clean up. That's what I need to do. Crazy mofo. People can donate now if they want to. I don't need Streamlabs for that. Yes, uh, Amy, I'll probably, I'm going to try to work out tonight, you know, depending on how the news is. But if, if there's not big news, I'll work out. Any day there's not giant news, I work out, pretty much. Filipina says, move to the Philippines if you hate snow. I'd love to live in another country sometime. I'd love to. Maybe one day. I'd really love to. Filipina, are you really watching from the Philippines? Rhonda, I don't drink coffee. I just drink water. Only water. Hey, thanks, Charlene, for saying thanks. I'd like I'd I'd, I'd move to Australia because they, they speak English there, so it'd be easy. But I just I have the whole setup and everything. It's just I can't do it right now. I can't move anywhere. My family's like my, my my you know my, 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 my mother and my brothers and stuff. They're all here. So maybe one day in the future I'll live in another country. I'd love to do it. Crazy crazy mofo. Um, uh, if people don't want to give a cut to YouTube, they can donate at Lookner.net. But the thing is, is that is that I like the super chat. I like fine. So YouTube takes thirty percent, but it's fun for people to give the super chats and they can type their message. So I, I don't mind it. I like it. People seem to like it too. Rooms for rockets. When do I have the time? I don't even have enough time for this channel. Or Patreon, as Amy says, or Patreon. Oh, Susan Marie said you should try an air fryer. Somebody said they ordered me an air fryer. Thanks, by the way, to everybody. Oh, we still have to do the Amazon stream. The Amazon stream is when it, what you buy on Amazon is where I'm going to I'm going to show you guys what you've been buying on Amazon. Because if you click on one of my links to a product, even if you don't buy that product, but you buy something from Amazon in the next 24 hours, I get a little cut of it, which is fantastic. Um, so um, but Amazon shows me what I got a cut of and most of it's not what I recommended. So we're going to do a stream where we, we do what you buy on Amazon, where I go through that stuff. But yeah, so just know if you if if you click on one of my links below for any of the products like the walk, and then you happen to buy something else, hey, there there it's no more cost to you, but Amazon gets me a cut of it. Excuse me. If you're ever thinking of buying something on Amazon and you'd like me to recommend it for you, so you could get a link from me and and have a cut go to me, I I, I can do that. It takes five seconds. Thank you, Brian Grant. No, I never did journalism stuff before. I just kept up with the news. Hey, thank you, Le Petit Silver, for your donation. That's very nice of you, Le Petit Silver. Thank you. And thanks for thanking the mods, Le Petit Silver. I appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. All right. Oh, thank you, Rob Van Roy. It's getting to be that time. All right, we have, we have like a minute more. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to start wrapping this up, guys. It's time to start wrapping it up. We got to all move on and go. We got to all move on and go forward. Good night, Edna Arthur. Edna, Edna Arthur's uh, good night to you. 
Oh, Robert Carley says, I might be doing another lip balm stream. Yeah, some people have sent me stuff. I have had no chance to go to the P.O. box. Uh, I'm going to go the next couple of days. I just, my schedule has been so crazy awful that I haven't, I've been getting up at 5 p.m. So I got to go to the PO post office and check my P.O. box. Hey, thank you, American Rebel. Another donation from you. That's very kind of you, American Rebel. Thank you so much, American Rebel 27. Much appreciated. Very generous of you. Hey, thanks, LJD. Feel free also, let somebody know. If you know, if you're, if you know someone who for some reason would like this channel, feel free to let them know about the channel. Uh, thanks, Hanakin, for saying goodnight. Thank you, Jessica McBride. Hey, thank you, Rights Defender chat room from Canada. Thank you. Brian said my dad is watching tonight, too. Thank you, Brian. Steven says, do my recommendations work with Amazon Smile? I think if you, if you go to one of my Amazon links and then you buy anything on Amazon the next 24 hours, with, with or without Amazon Smile, I think I get a credit for it. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Dallas Ramsey, for watching. Thanks to all of our moderators. Moderators! Idaho Star, Lamar Watkins, Keisha, Linda Belk, Gar uh, Garth, Michael B. Oh, moderators. Great work, moderators. Lamar Watkins. Love it. Hey, by the way, I got some more use tonight out of the $149 chair. I still haven't given the... Remember, I was thinking of returning this, but I keep getting use out of it. So it actually is... It's actually working out okay. If you want to know the whole story behind the chair, there's a whole stream. There's a whole stream we did on uh, the chair unboxing. If you go to the Lochner page, there's a chair unboxing stream. Also, maybe I can put it in... I'll put a YouTube card in with this. You can watch it here. After the broadcast, I'll put, I'll put the card in for it. I don't even know what the time code is right now, though. Uh, 243, I think. Those are the two cards. Need. But we did a whole stream about the chair unboxing. But the chair is great. See, that's the thing. If I'd gotten a cheap chair, well, I, I didn't care how expensive it was. But this chair, it was the only one that felt good to sit in. If I'd gotten another chair, I couldn't sit. This I can sit. In, I can sit in this chair for hours, and it's comfortable. So. Hey, thanks, Jay Marie. Thank you, Doug Rabbit. Thank you, Jessica McBride. Thanks, Judy Socket. Yankee Altman, I'd like to have the time to watch the streams. I have no time to rewatch anything, unfortunately. Thank you, Rondo. Thank you, Ryder, uh, Nancy. Brian Grin. Clackers. Thank you, Clackers. Oh, Amazon Canada. So, uh, Doug Rabbit asked about Amazon Canada. If you're in like the Canada or the UK or France or Italy, I can give you an Amazon link, but I got to give you a different one because the ones I have are only for Amazon US. Uh, it's a whole complex thing, but I have a different account for Amazon Canada and I don't want to post four versions of every link. So, you can always message me on Twitter if you have a certain Amazon Canada thing you want recommended for you. Thanks, Robert Carley. And again, the walk. Thank you to Joyce Chen for making this walk. Uh, this is the one we've been using. I'm looking very excited. To, I'm very much looking forward to using it more. You can find the link in the description. So, but I'm quite happy with it. I'm so excited to have a walk now. And thank you guys for encouraging me to cook for myself. And I have food for tomorrow in here. Uh, thanks, Crackhead. <laughs> Crackhead said, why are you on IP2? Because they put me on IP2. They put me there. Wait, was why was... Hey, was Crackhead making difficulty? Why was Crackhead hidden? 
I think Crackhead might have been asking a serious question, unless they were saying something annoying before. I think that was a genuine question from Crackhead. I don't I don't think it was I don't think it was trolling. Thank you, Michael B. Yeah. So I, I think I I think uh, IP2 is a uh, it's uh, it's like a content network where uh, they have a list of one of the I don't really one of the things they do it's like a it's like a, a network of content providers and I think there's like a they have their own like Reddit board or, or Discord board but they 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 have a bunch of people who live stream and I'm on their list of people who live stream. So sometimes people come from there and troll. Sometimes people come from there and genuinely watch. So anyways, I, I didn't, it's their choice to put me there. But hey, the more people, the better that are watching. The more people that know about the streams, the better. As long as they behave themselves. Yeah, Michael B., thank you for unhiding. Yeah, I, I think, I think, I understand, I understand that why there was some confusion over Crackhead. Maybe Crackhead will come back one day. Clear, clear gray sky says, I'm from IP2 and I'm a good boy. See? So, yeah, we get... I'm, I'm, look, I'm glad. If they want to let people know about the channel, great. No, crackhead ho. So you were you were only banned by mistake. I, I think no one was banning you because you were from IP2. I think you was once in a while. What happens? Once in a while, somebody says something, and it can be. I've done the same thing where you misinterpret what somebody's saying. I've done some. I've done that sometimes where I totally misinterpret what somebody was saying, and then I time them out or whatever. So, so we we fixed it, crackhead ho. All right, we got to wrap, guys. We got to, we got to wrap this up. We got to wrap this up. But thank you, everybody, for joining. Oh, Miss Amy, Miss Amy says so. Steve liked the walk, yes, but you got to go back. You got to rewind. But yes, I love the walk. A plus. Very happy with the walk. All right. I am going to start saying goodbye to everybody. Hey, bye, Misha. Thank you, Misha. Oh, hold on. We got a donation. Uh, hold on. I got to announce a donation. This is, very, this is a rare donation from the, a, a rare PayPal donation to the Lookner channel from John Jones. John Jones made a donation on PayPal to the Lookner channel. I think there's only been like Three or four people who've ever donated on the on the uh, Lugner channel PayPal at Lugner.net. So thank you to John Jones. How about that, John Jones? I don't know who Jones John Jones is. They probably have a different name in the chat room. Who is it? I don't know. But whoever you are, John Jones, that's very kind of you. I'm glad I checked so I could shout that person out. Very nice of them. Weekly TV. Weekly TV, please direct the stream request to Weekly TV to the Lookner channel, to the, to the at Lookner on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter, at Lookner on Twitter. Kindly direct... New agenda free TV request to that cha to that uh, that location. Hey, thank you, Arthur Kotman. Thank you, C. Michelle Sparks. Sharon H. Thank you. Yes, Nosy Rosie. I'm gonna probably go to the treadmill a little later. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Melissa McQueen. Thanks for thanks for putting up with my chewing. 
Yes, thanks everybody for putting up with my chewing. Yes, thank you, small wildflowers. I'm glad I didn't burn down the house too. For a moment when I put the chicken in the walk, I thought I was going to put this, put, turn the uh, smoke alarm. I thought I was going to trip the smoke alarm for the building. I'm glad I didn't. Luna Girl, the difference is uh, if you donate during the stream in YouTube, they take I get 70%, they get 30%, but you get to post a message and people see it. I mean, that's fun. So I, I get that. Uh, if you donate through PayPal, like on Lookner.net, I think they take like 5% or something. So I get more, but I look, I find with people, do, I'm happy if people want to donate either, either way. And I think it can be fun for people to donate in the chat room and have the name come up and they can put a message up there or buy a sticker or whatever. So I'm cool with that. So however you want to do it is fine with me. Believe me. Anytime anyone wants to donate any amount, that's how I stay in the, uh, on the air. It's, it's always fine with me in whatever way, shape, or form. No matter the amount. LJD, I do not think we'll be doing a treadmill stream. And thank you, thank you, our moderator Garth Russell signed up for the Agenda Free TV Patreon today. Oh, thank you, Garth Russell. Thanks, Michael B. for modding. Thank you, Cheryl Simpson. Oh, was Yankee, Yankee Altman says, our pleasure. Did Yankee Altman donate? Is Yankee Altman the one who donated? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, thank you, Miss Amy. It's a secret. Yeah, it might have been a secret donor. Thank you, Crackhead. Crackhead's going to come back for another stream. Thank you, Crackhead. I appreciate it. Harper's Friendly World has a broken leg. I hope it gets better. Thank you, Weekly TV. Thank you, Weekly TV. As Tanya says, Super Chat can be good for people who want to tell me stuff who don't use Twitter. Yes. Yes, Stephen Rogers, if you want a recommendation link for an item, just write to me on Twitter at Lookner and I can send you the recommendation link. Totally. Totally. Just write to me at Lookner on Twitter. Small wildflowers. I'm aware about channel memberships. Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm maybe in the future for Lookner channel, uh, <coughs> but for now... <coughs> It's just for various reasons, I'm not doing them right now. Oh, thank you, Rob Van Roy, for your donation. Thank you, Rob, who I think is in the Netherlands. Rob says he's going to watch it back soon. Thank you, Rob. Much appreciated. Rob Van Roy, thank you, Rob. Yankee says, I won't take credit for someone else's donation. Okay, good. And thanks, Judy Socket, for watching. All right, guys. I think it's about that time. We're going to wrap this up. So I hope... You've found the stream enjoyable. Ooh, I gotta do I gotta do a little more cleaning. I, I have to the, right after this I'm gonna be cleaning. But 
here's the walk. I'm very excited to keep using it. You can find the link in the uh, description. So awesome. I have the walk now. And uh, we're, we're on onward and up, onward and upward. Onward and upward. Thanks, TJ Tampa. Thank you, Lin G. Thank you, Rights Defender. Woo! All right, guys. We're wrapping it up. We're wrapping it up. Good night, Mama of Six. Good night. Uh, good night, um... Bruno, thank you, Bruno. Linda Birdbike said you can use stacking bamboo steamers and walk if you want to steam food. Interesting. Also, you know, when I was in Taiwan years a couple years ago, I had bamboo and I liked bamboo. I might have to see if they can find that somewhere to cook. Thank you, Maggie Prejean. Thank you, LJD. Greg, Grass Valley Greg says, walk that like button. Thank you. And thanks, a Stacy S. Thank you. And Judith Ann Barton. All right. If you want to say goodnight, say it quickly, because I'll be able to go. We got to wrap it up. We got to wrap it up. Thank you, Tristan. Tristan M says IP2 made you. You can chatter, you can leave that comment in. You can leave the IP2 made you. That's fine. That's fine. You don't have to delete the IP2 made you comment. You can leave it in. <laughs> Even though it's in all capital letters. Try to avoid all capital letters, but that you can let that comment slide. That's okay. All right. Bye, Crackhead. Bye, GK. Bye, Linda. Bye, Jay Marie. All right, guys. So I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for your concern, Sable. We made it, Sable. We made it safe. All right, Yankee. All right, Zach Fullen. See you, Zach Fullen. All right, so... This is going to end, so this ends. Remember, when I'm in the kitchen doing the stream, I can't just end the stream. I need to say goodbye, then I need to walk over the computer, and then I need to end the stream. So I'm going to say goodbye, and then I'm going to walk over the computer, and then the graphic will come up. Oh, and thanks again to everybody who donated. Uh, I, I, I should say that one more time. Thanks to all the donors. Uh, that's how we stay on the air, so I really appreciate it, so thank you. But thanks, everybody, for watching, and thank you for your help in helping me learn how to cook in helping me how to figure out not to burn out, burn down my apartment while cooking. <laughs> oh, Han Shelke's in the chat room. Thank Han Shelke for watching. <laughs> hey, and thanks to Ice Huck Boys for subscribing. All right. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so, so, so much for helping me try the walk. And uh, I love it. All right, I'm saying goodbye. I got to clean some stuff up. I got to clean up this mess. And I'm going to go put the graphic on the computer. I'll end the stream and then I can clean up. Thanks for joining so much. Have a great night or a great day where you are. And I'll see you soon on one of the two channels. Later, guys. <laughs>